All right, everybody, I'm just going to do one last question, which is the cos of 243. The cos of 243, and then I think we're going to have to end off. The cos of 243, come, let's do it just for a little bit. Come, let's do it together. I have cos 243. Okay, what did I say in the previous question? Check which quadrant you are working in. 243, naught to 90, 90 to 180, 180 to 270. Yes, we are working in the third quadrant. So your first question is which quadrant? Second question, is cos positive or negative in the third quadrant? I'm working in the third quadrant cos is negative there well done so I've got cos there and in the third quadrant we say 180 plus theta so it's 180 plus what gives me this 243 180 plus what you can go and say 243 minus 180 and what do you get 63 degrees you know you're so happy when you come to the 63 because your sketch had a 63 in. Remember at the beginning of the sum I told you don't forget to put the 63 in. Now cos of 63, grade 12, T is now adjacent to the 63. Not this anymore, you're not working with the 27, you're working with the 63, so it's adjacent over hypotenuse, don't forget the negative, negative T over 1. I hope you all get, got that, this is really just negative okay just before we end off let me see if I can get some people asking me some questions um, I have Calvin negative 20 you've got negative 27 Calvin can I just say that you're not supposed to write your answers with degrees they want it in terms of T so if it's in terms of T can you see my cos 27 I used my sketch my tan 153, I used my sketch. And my cos 243, I used my sketch. And please, everybody, all this must be in terms of T. You cannot write 27 and you cannot write 163. Nothing just in terms of T. I have Luguaya saying, thank you, miss. And somebody asking me, ma'am, do you usually mark the sketch diagram? You know, for this question that I just did, the last question, here's my diagram. You don't get marks for the sketch, but the sketch really, really helps you to get to the answers. So you're not going to get a mark for the sketch here, like in the first question that we did, but it's definitely going to help you and it's going to be much easier to come to the answers. Somebody says here, Zandile Adam says, thank you so, so much. We have learned a lot. Zandile, I hope that you did. You know, mathematics is a, it's not an easy subject, but if you have a passion for it, then I think everybody can do well. And just remember, this was a very quick session. There's so much that we can still do. But what I want to ask you, please, it's a week holiday, but you must work every single day. I told my learners at school, even if it's just an hour, do you know what difference an hour is going to make? Please, everybody, mathematics is something that must be practiced. I am going to run the two oceans marathon now. I've been practicing since last year. I cannot go and run the marathon and I'm not even prepared. Mathematics is like that. Practice every single, single day. Um, somebody just asked me, ma'am, ma ma'am, is it a negative tan? Absolutely. Why negative now again? Come and just look at that last question. She asked me, ma'am, why is it negative 10? Let me just see who it was. Tunjine, you said 153 is in the second quadrant. And in the second quadrant, 10 is negative. Hence, my negative sign. Please, this is your most important question. Which quadrant are you working in? You can't answer that question if you don't know which quadrant you are working in. Grade 12s, we've come to the end of our session. And I just want to wish you well. I want you to work very hard. We couldn't get through all our examples. There were still three examples that I wanted to do with you. But the questions that you asked were very good questions. And the questions that you asked were relevant. Just remember again, if I'm working in different quadrants, I need to put on my signs and I need to put a sketch down if it is 
in terms of tea. Thank you very much learners for this afternoon. I really enjoyed teaching you.